Today we're on the Mariner of the Seas. It's time to get up on deck and get some video for the sail away. It's episode number five of the vlog from our cruise on Mariner of the Seas in January of 2022. <laughs> oh God! Oh, you are kind of like yeah. You are kind of right off the uh, right off the promenade there. Yep. All right, deck twelve, all the way up. Saturday. Door closing. Yep. The doors are closing. Hey, a very very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. This is your captain speaking from the bridge. At this time, I would like to thank you for your cooperation in completing your mandatory safety briefing. Ah. I have a few more final safety points we must yeah. cover them. Immediately following this announcement, the emergency signal will be sounded in the compliance yeah. with the International Convention for the Safety of Life and Sea. Yeah. No action is required of you at this time. This signal is to be aware that in the unlikely event of a real emergency. Oh, this way. So when we uh, stepped out on deck, it was just kind of right in your face. All of a sudden, it's just noise. Yeah. I... That'll wake you up. <laughs> well, if anybody was asleep, that'll wake them up. Train crew members. Southeast and up the eastern seaboard this holiday weekend. 
I will get back to you tomorrow morning with the latest update as we will run into overcast skies and rain showers, high winds and seas most of the day tomorrow Sunday and overnight to Monday as we are sailing along the Cuban coastline and the Yucatan Channel. For those of you that are interested, the sun will set tonight at 5.48 p.m. and rise tomorrow morning again at 7.14 p.m. After we depart to the dock, we will be sailing in the Canaveral Harbour Channel for about 45 minutes before exiting the channel and heading south towards our first border call. During the night, we will be passing several, uh, several of Florida's well-known seaside cities such as Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and finally Miami on our starboard side before we order the course and sail towards the western point of Cuba before arriving in Cozumel on Monday morning. Did you know the Kennedy Space Center, which is situated just on our port side, serves as the launch and research facility for NASA for its space programs? And up until a few years ago, it was the only launch site for every U.S. manned space flight, flight since 1968. I wish you all a wonderful evening, a night aboard and manner of the seas, and once again, a warm and welcome aboard. I don't know. Oh yeah. Nice. That's cool.